Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. Now first of all, I like to apologize because this video comes after uh, quite a long time. Uh, I was actually busy with my thesis and I uh, had to write a lot of write a lot of you know make a lot of plots and stuff. So it took me it took me a hell lot of time. So I couldn't work on that for quite some time. So anyway, I'm back. <coughs> Hopefully for the next few days, I think I'll be in a position to you know upload more videos as possible as much as possible. Okay. Uh, uh, enough of that. Let's get get down to today's work. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be explaining you guys something about interfacing of functions and subroutines. Using the using the keyword interface, uh, uh, interface construct available in Fortran. Now, for what does in uh, what does interface mean? Uh, suppose let's say you have a function or a subroutine in which uh, the variables are in which the variables are uh, different in the different in data type. But they do the exactly the same function. For instance, uh, take an example. Have a look at this function and this function over here. See this function geo underscore term underscore real. Okay. In in what it does is that it takes a real a re integer value n. Okay. And a real type and two real numbers a naught and r. And then what it calculates is that it calculates the geometric uh, the nth geometric term nth geometric term of a geometric progression okay nth term of a geometric progression and then returns the value okay now uh, i'm taking assuming assuming i'm just thinking uh, for clarity of notations i'm assuming the geometric progression starts with the zeroth term so a naught is actually the zeroth term and a n is actually the nth term so that you know uh, the formula comes neat instead of uh, r r power n minus one thing it's uh, making that uh, the formula comes neat simple as that nothing more so okay this function returns the nth term of a geometric progression okay uh, but the thing to be noticed is that all the values over here except for the index which is positive that's fine all the values over here they are all, they are all in you know if you guys notice all of them are in real values okay suppose i have a function wherein uh, all these values are integers alone okay now, can I uh, can I have that function? Yes, it does. Okay, what I've written is I've written this entire exactly the same function over here, except that ins instead of real, I made it int. Okay, and these variables int a naught and r, which were taken as real values in this function, g o underscore term underscore real, I'm taking them as integers over here. Other than that, everything else is exactly the same. Now the question uh, the question is okay question is uh, uh, in, in my in my program do i have a way okay so that uh, i can you know, interchangeably call these functions uh, in, in without without worrying about the data types okay uh, see the problem is this suppose if i have a four three to four integers and i use uh, and i use uh, where uh, use a variable to uh, use a term to invoke one you know invoke this function okay now can i use the same name to invoke this function if the data if the data variables are different and is that facility possible let's say if it's if it's possible won't that make the lives a little simpler okay uh, the fa if, uh, pattern is i mean the thought uh, possibility is yes it does exist now I'll explain to you guys how that works. Okay, that's how th that's this is possible using this interfun interface interface option. Okay, the fun program the script name is or the file name is inter.f90. Okay, okay. Now let's go to into the just program part of it. Okay, what I have here is that if I have a program called as inter which starts here and ends over here. Okay, I define six uh, se seven variables in total. A stand I mean this A stands for uh, arithmetic. Uh, okay. Uh, nothing much. This A stands for this uh, the integer first term, integer first term of geometric progression, integer ratio, and then n. N is the number of terms, and A n will have the the nth geometric term corresponding to these values. And mind you, the this all the terms here are integers. Similarly, I have defined uh, the uh, replic uh, replic uh, the corresponding values in re real numbers real numbers over here 
GA0 stands for the uh, zeroth term of the geometric progression which is real. Similarly, GR stands for the geometric ratio uh, in, uh, in real numbers. Simple as that. And GAN is ex equivalently the same except that AAN is integer, GAN is, uh, GAN is uh, real. Alright? Now, let's look at how to do this. To make sure that uh, to pass variables uh, to, uh, to uh, any one of these functions with the same common name okay that uh, that process is accomplished by this interface term now what I've done here is that I to do uh, what I've done here is that I've introduced the uh, inter right return a keyword called as interface okay hope you guys can see this interface and now what I've given is that I've given the name geo underscore term to it so we have an interface block here whose name is geo underscore term term okay and it ends here and what I've defined here what I defined inside is that I've defined the real function term and the integer function term inside it nothing what I defined is that I just define the function name function definition and inside it I define the values the variables that are being processed uh, processed inside a set of all the values that are processed in, processed inside use then uh, use then you know processed inside simple as that now what I've done similarly I have written the same se same set of values into the, uh, uh, the corresponding to the real term is the real function g underscore term underscore real inside here and that's it and what I've done is that in I've just de defined only the variable definitions over here whereas the execution part of it is not included okay and I will uh, close this interface function here and now what I'm doing is that now I'm call now I'm calculating uh, outside this interface I am calculating the nth geometric term the nth geometric term of a progression or a series whichever you call it that's not a problem okay here now AAN will call AAN I'm saying that this is equal to geo underscore term and, I and I'm passing all the integer components integer components uh, such as A naught which is in this is a re integer first term first term of the series in integer this is the ratio of the terms in the series that is again in integer and, 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 and uh, n is an integer so that's not a problem Similarly, I'm using I'm calling GAN with the same term, okay, and with a different set of variables. But these variables are real, except for this. That's integer. It has to be integer, except for this. These two are real. Fine. Now the thing is, now quite now the question might arise is that when these vari various values are used, which will this function be used or will this function be used? And similarly, when this when this line is used, will this be used or will this be used? Now, uh, now the logic, here, uh, the thing here is that because of this interface function, the geo underscore t underscore term will understand will look at the data types of these variables that are being passed into it, and uh, since it th since okay passed into it and uh, sees as to which of these functions uh, that are that are interface into it have the same who have the same have the variables corresponding to the same. Uh, corresponding to the same uh, uh, data types so what it does is that when this value is passed it car it looks at the data type of a0 ar and n and and looks at the corresponding data types in this function and in this function if it looks at this function it will realize that a0 a0 corresponds to a0 but it's real but the value you defined is real but this is a0 but this is but this is integer so you'll understand that okay this is not to be used let's look at another one and rejects this one and then it goes looks here and then if it looks here what happens is that it sees this value is integer and this value is integer okay first match and then looks at ar it's integer r is integer fine and then n is integer and then n is integer so we what we have is that we have a full match over here so it says okay for this variable i will use this function so this function and return the value accordingly now similarly when this is done what will happen is that this will uh, reject this function this function because all of these values are integers here and will uh, accept this function because this matches the data types appropriately okay that's the logic behind it and when that is used uh, when this call is being made uh, this function gets invoked this function get, uh, the real function gets invoked on the top and it works nicely and the result is printed out and to make sure that all these values are printing nicely I'm just printing all the, val the value of n uh, the initial term everything over here now simply put let's since this is a very simple program just one simple program we can just execute from genie fa to compile it's compiles fine 
f9 to build it builds fine and then fi to execute okay let me put this in the screen yeah perfect now n we have defined to be 6 so it's 6 no problem with that and the a0 is 1 and note that there is no uh, decimal trailing de trailing zeros or decimal points after 1 and then ar is 4 fine which is defined over here and aan is 4096 or 4096 so what is what it does is that for it, it just multiplied you just raise the power of 4 to 6 4 power 6 okay so which is 2 power 12 uh, 2 power 12 10 2 power 10 is 1024 and 2 power 11 is 2048 2 power 12 is 4096 yeah perfect it's right and similarly it does the same operations for g uh, for the other part and you have the decimal trailing zeros over here all right now that is it now if we just change the values over here let's make this 2 and again this to be this to be 1 okay if we were to compile build and run this you see it's you see it's perfect you get the you get the modifications quite nicely and uh, it just works out fine okay that's uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial this will be very much useful uh, this interface option will be very much useful for functions and subroutines which have exactly the same syntax but whose values whose data types are differing in uh, Oh, whose data types are different for the variables that's it and uh, this interface has much more lot more features lot more features uh, in the next tutorial we'll see how to interface functions uh, how to interface functions and uh, subroutines that are inside modules and all okay thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys in the next tutorial so take care then bye